Hello everyone, welcome to Page Neuro. My name is Breno Tagliabini. I'm a fifth year medical student from Brazil. And as my first video, I'd like to introduce you to the goals of this YouTube channel. Uh, it's basically to share with you some neuroanatomical, neurosurgical and neurological concepts that you can apply to your everyday practice and even study for USMLE with it. I hope you'll enjoy it. Let's start talking about stroke. We have to differentiate the two types of stroke. Basically, we have ischemic and hemorrhagic strokes. The ischemic stroke usually is due to a thrombus or emboli that will prevent the blood from circulating through a brain vessel that it would like. From this point, this is the clot, the brain parenchyma itself would suffer focally. And talking about hypoperfusion, it's usually due to, uh, it's another uh, subtype of ischemic stroke, but it's usually due to a massive hypotension, due to a cardiovascular or even a central issue that the patient is facing. Now, talking about the hemorrhagic one, the two main types of it, it's like ICH, that intracerebral hemorrhage, and SAH, subarachnoid hemorrhage. ICH stands for intracerebral hemorrhage. That, mean, that means actually that the brain parenchyma itself is suffering focally, but there is a hemorrhage in it, so it's bleeding. It's usually in really, really common in basal ganglia and now the subarachnoid hemorrhage is usually due to an aneurysm or AVM, AVM standing for arterial venous malformation and the blood collection would be standing in the subarachnoid space. So these are the basic two types of strokes. Now let's talk about ABCD2 and TIA. Thank you. We also have TIA that stands for transient ischemic attack. And the patient with TIA would have the deficit related or very similar to a stroke, but it usually will recover in like less than one hour, less than four, less than 12, but usually it will recover 100%. And the ideology of it, it's almost like microembolism that goes within a vessel in the brain, but the brain itself can revert the flux and continue functioning well, even with that regression. And we have this ABCD2 scale that we should follow to check the chances of the patient to have another TIA or even a stroke within hours, days, weeks. And okay, A would stand for age older than 60 years old. So punctuate one point. B for blood pressure. Another point, if the systolic blood pressure is greater than 140 millimeters or the diastolic blood pressure is greater than 90 millimeters of mercury. And talking about the C, the clinical features would be unilateral weakness, two points added, and speech disturbance, one point. Other symptoms wouldn't punctuate at all. And the D, the duration of the symptoms, less than 10 minutes, wouldn't punctuate. 10 to 59, one point, and more than 60 minutes, two points. The other D would stand for diabetes, that's a very common and related disease with strokes. Thank you for watching the video, please subscribe. If you have any questions or suggestions for further videos, please write them below, I will really appreciate it. Thank you.